full transparency. This is my first Midnight Hunt draft. I'm playing in the Sweatsuit Invitational. It's always great to do that the first week of a format, the first day of a format actually. Um, so yeah, let, let's dive in, look at my first pack. Um, a rare that I'm not very familiar with, Old Stick Fingers. Black Green X, when you cast this spell, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal X creature cards. Put all creature cards revealed this way into your graveyard and put the rest on the bottom of your library. To the number of creature cards in your uh, graveyard. Old Stick Fingers. Alex gave this a... Uh, let me see a C, and that's probably because you're putting a, a lot in your graveyard. Um, let's see where we have the, the Brigand. That's a B. Ritual of Hope is... Uh, a decent card, but not very good. It's more of a payoff for a go wide deck than something that pulls me in. Lunark Veteran is um, these, I would say. Um, but I think best card in the pack is the Fang Blade. I don't think there's any of the top comments here. So uh, yeah, let's start off with this uh, this little. <laughs> A little werewolf uh, card here and so we started out red and there is a red card in this pack which is pretty good it's purifying a dragon the rare is missing from this pack uh, purifying dragon is like a C plus I'm pretty sure Inferno Grasp is uh, way way better being a B plus and all so kind of eyeing the Inferno Grasp here not seeing anything that comes uh, comes close I think the, the the dragon is the closest thing. The purifying dragon, but it's, it's not close enough. It's like a full ladder grade difference, I would say. So yeah, I think I go for Infernal Grasp here. Pretty obvious pick. Let's see what else is in the pack. Yeah, starting out Black Rat is, uh, is fine. I think uh, I like the archetype. Let's see where we uh, where we end up with it. We get a collector. That's not a great card. It's like a C plus or something. Maybe even just a C. And I also am not big on loyal Griff, so I think we might be looking at a common here. But that's there's not a lot to go around, honestly. I think it's between Zombie and Collector for me, and maybe between those two it is Collector. I think they are very similar, but uh, this is a Vampire and that has some, some upside in Black Rat. Um, so Baytook Angler in blue, it's also a C. Most of the cards here are just Cs, so yeah, not a... Currently there's not a clear best card in this pack for me. I think I'll uh, I'll go for the the black card in the blood tide collector and the, the vampire for the uh, black red deck. Okay, um, draft continues with uh, only one uncommon in this pack left, which is defend the Celestis. That's a um, decent little C. I'm not picking it up here. What I do really like is the Harrier. Uh, people are pretty high on the Harrier. Uh, right now. Mm -mm. Nice little uh, two drop. Uh, there's also a Tavern Ruffian. I think that is a C level card. And in black there's a Reunion. I think best cards here are in blue. So I, I like Consider, Organ Hoarder and Revenge. If I could take three cards from this pack it would probably be these three. Um, Organ Hoarder, when it enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards. Yeah, I think I'll take the, the two drop here, the aggressive two. But uh, it could have been uh, that I should have taken a, a a blue spell there. Okay, next pack we get the Heirloom Mirror. Card I'm not very sure about right now. Alex has that as a C. Uh, there's also a Behemoth, which I like. Uh, but that's more of a C, and there's a, a Dead Knight, which is also uh, 
in red, which is like a C as well, I think. So yeah, looks like we're picking up another C here. Quickly go over to the, the draft lab ratings and see how they do the... Between these two, what do I like best? Stuff. I think I'll go for the the Dread Knight for now. Ooh, we got another Lampold Harrier. Let's see, where do they have the mirror? Heirloom mirror, oh, they have it at a C. That's even lower, and just Lola Man has it as a. Let's see, let's see, where did you have the mirror? Ooh, also a C, okay, so they're even lower on it than Alex. Um, I think I'll take the other two here. I mean, Lamp Lampold Harrier is a premium two in red, I think. Um, alternatives here are um, not great. There's a red green land, but I don't need that one right now. I think I'll take the Harrier over the Rufian here. And we get a Bad Whisperer in black, which is uh, not great. C minus level card. Outlaw is a C. Um, Crasher is better than a C, but not in this deck. And Neonate's Rush is a is a card I'm not sure about uh, as we speak. Um, uh, I think I'll go for the safest pick here, which is a three drop. The outlaw, pretty good in the the black red archetype, and it seems we're pretty solidly in uh, in black red. And uh, yeah, take the neonet rush here. Goes, uh, it's a nice sideboard card. If I main deck it, if I have to main deck it, that's fine. But uh, we can start it off in the sideboard. I think it would be uh, even better. Got some vampire synergy going on. Three vampires so far, um, and three wolves slash werewolves. And I think Evolving Wilds is a solid pickup here um, over the Moonsilver Key and the Ritual of Hope. Ritual of Hope kind of telling me that nobody was clearly in, in Go White already, but somebody's probably very happy picking this up on the wheel. But I'm uh, I'm very happy with an evolving wilds, allowing me to splash maybe, making my mana base a lot better. Yeah, solid C plus I think evolving wilds in any format. Um, pooh, white seems open at our table, which is unfortunate. I like to be white white aggro. Um. So yeah, I either I'll take the crawl from the cellar, which I don't like that much. But uh, I'll, t I'll take it just to make sure that um, everybody knows that black is not open. I'll take this for the sideboard. I think I'm also putting this in the sideboard for now. My deck doesn't look like a crawl from the cellar deck. I'm just picking black and red cards at this point. I just want to make clear that I'm in black red and I want other people to stay out of the color pair. Ooh, that's nice. Late Tavern Ruffian. Some nice little... Uh, just a solid werewolf card, like a 2-5-4 is already these. And then uh, when it's night, it's just even better. I'll pick that. Colorless card, but I expect not to play the Crossroads Candle Guide. Ooh, and another Rufian. Nice. Okay, that's very nice. Looks like um, Red and then especially the Werewolves is uh, is open. We get a, a Champion of the Parish in our colors. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on Champion of the Parish. The sad thing is, I'm not really a zombie deck right now. But I think Champion of the Perished 
is a solid B, but so is Olivia's Midnight Rush, and I'd rather have that right now. Very few zombies so far, so I think I'm going to pass the champion to Zombie. And I see uh, Kvartek is now passing to me. So let's hope I guided Kvartek away from Black Rat. And I'm going to get rewarded here a little. This pack has a lot of white goodies. Some very strong white cards. And that's it basically. Most good stuff here is white. I don't expect a lot on the wheel. Maybe Vandal wheels, but wouldn't be very happy with that. So yeah, Midnight Hutch Ambush is a solid pickup. I'm very happy with that pickup here. Ooh. Not the best pack. Lots of blue. I think for me it's between Immolation and Burn the Accursed. I think they, um, they are close, but I like uh, Burn the Accursed better. Just another solid removal spell. That also pushes some damage to, uh, to the opponent. Yeah, it's not that far off the strongest card in the pack. I mean, uh, things like Corpse Gobble and Hermit Vivisection, they're not a lot better than this. I think Vivisection is even worse. And so yeah, Burnley Curse to this. Not really a, a tough pick there. Happy to pick that up. Another burn the accursed here. Also two two drops in the form of the interloper and the occultist. Between those two I'm on the interloper obviously. Um, given the fact that I'm black rat and that I think the, the, the flying is pretty important here. Especially if I pick up some more outlaws. I think it's between Imperlo Interloper or Burn the Accursed. So the fact is, the question is how high do I value the 2 1? I can also yeah, speculate on the Rockfall Veil and then splash some green cards of the Veil and of the Evolving Wilds. Maybe I find a good green uh, Werewolf to play. I think it's just interloper or accursed here and I'll I'll go for the accursed. Ooh, I think we get rewarded here. So we have Chandler and we have Awakener. Chandler is a two mana two two with upside basically. So it becomes a, a three three whenever a spell you control deals damage, put a flame counter on it. And then I can remove a flame counter and exile the top card of your library and I may play that. And I have quite some spells that deal damage already, right? I have Burn the Accursed. Tw two Burn the Accursed, basically. But I think, yeah, given that the floor here is a 2 mana 2-2. Two -two, there's only upside. I really like uh, Flame Channeler. So I'll pick it over Awakener. And over Dread Knight. Ooh, yes! We get a Vampire Socialite, pick 5, that's a very good sign. There's also a Perforator, a Stinger, wow there's a lot of stuff that I would like here for my Vampire's deck. Uh, but I'll, I'll pick up the Socialite, that's just a solid 2. Really nice. Um, and definitely makes me lean towards Vampire Tribal a little bit. So cards like Outlaw, Perforator and Stinger are definitely cards that I would like to pick up on the wheel. I might, I might actually pick one of those three up on the wheel, although it's probably No Way Out or something that makes it my way. But yeah, very, very happy to pick up the, the gold signpost on Common basically. Ooh, interesting. Sacred Fire is clearly the best card here. Which would mean we're leaning Mardu.
Alternatively, I can pick up the Vandal, which is just a, a little aggressive card. It's not a vampire, neither is it a, a werewolf, but it does do stuff on, on night and day, so... It's also Rotten Reunion. Not sure what to pick here, honestly. I think I'll pick up the Sacred Fire. Just in case I end up splashing white. Ooh, another Brimstone Vandal. It's a C. There's also a Blade Brand. Blade Brand, currently not a lot of um, interaction with my deck. I think I'll pick up the Vandal for now. There's also a Rotten Reunion, which I do not love. Uh, the, the Tutu Zombies are not very valuable for me right now. I don't have any sacrifice effects. So let's pick up that Vandal. Ooh, that's a late Elementist and also a late Foragers. So now the question is, do I rather have the Elementist or do I rather have the Foragers? I think they're both C pluses. So do I want an instant from my graveyard, or do I want the, the aggressive card in the foragers? Oh, that's close. Um, man, that's close. Pick the, the foragers for the vampire synergies, but I'm not sure if that's correct. What is better? What is better to hate? Commando or the patrol? I think they are similar. They're both seized, they're not great cards. I'll probably pick up the race of the effigy just to get people out of my color pair. I may I might play Rush in my current deck. It seems these. Uh here I pick up the Consider as a hate card. It's kind of sad to not see any black or red here. There wasn't a lot of black or red, but it's kind of. It hasn't been a great pack for me. The socialite was great. Foragers was a good pickup. Burn the curse is not bad, but flame channel was these. Okay, I'll pick the crasher here. Somebody is going to have a great white deck. I feel. Lots of white being passed around late, which means that the person in white is probably uh, having a great time. Okay, same story, double white, both both cards uh, playable. I think Ravelry is a fine sideboard card, and I think the mask is close to unplayable. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That I like. That's a card I gladly play. That's nothing for me. Ooh, okay. So we got we get a black rare, we get fall play and we get ambusher. So let's look at the trespasser first. Graveyard trespasser. Alex has that as a B. It's a 3-3 with ward. Whenever it adds the battlefield, except the one dark card from a graveyard. That's its daybound side, and its nightbound side is 4-4. Four four. It's basically a, a big exile stuff card, right? Um, Alex has this overfall play, and I'm pretty sure it's it's better than ambusher as well in reds. So I think I'm picking up the trespasser here and then just hoping that I wheel ambusher or perforator or interloper basically. All three the vampires would be good wheels. I hope I'm not incentivizing anyone to go into vampires. But I I can't imagine that's the case. Ooh. Vengeful Strangler versus Ambusher here. 
Let's see. Vengeful Strangler. It's a B minus according to Alex. It's better than the ambusher actually. It can it's a two one that can block and when it dies, return it to the battlefield transformed. That's an enchantment aura. Shant creature or planeswalk. Ooh yes, I like that one a lot. So my opponent doesn't want this to die. So I think my opponent is incentivized to just take two from this a couple of times. So yeah, gr great card I think in this deck. And another ambusher. Maybe this one wheels. Ooh, a flame channeler or hungry for more. Flame Channeler, just a decent card. Let's see where... Yeah, so they are, they are pretty similar power level. I didn't pick up many more Burn of the Accursed. Hungry for more kind of works with Vampire Socialites. So it makes two four twos with that. Ah, this is this is interesting. I c I can see picking up the flame channeler and then playing the neonates rush. So it's one of the two. I think the hungry for more is more likely to wheel. How important is it that they are vampires? That's the the, hard, the, the part that I do not know. Pick up the the flame channeler. I think I can go for the Neonates Rush now over the Perforator. I think that works kind of nice with Flame Channeler. Kind of like that. I'm, I'm going to try that, the, the Channeler Rush combination. I think it has potential. Like I like all my twos, I like my ones. I have 23 cards in the deck right now, of which one is a land, so... Currently not a big fan of the Rufians. They are not really working with the rest of my deck. <sighs> wow. That's a very late Cathartic Pyre. I'm happy to pick that up here. It's another spell that deals damage for the Flame Channelers. I think those will... Uh, will definitely perform in my deck. Yeah, if this is my final 23, I would I would be fine with that. I would play this. The weakest links are the Rufians. Those are just fine cards. Ooh. I think this is a Dreadhound. I'm not sure what to think of the card. Alex has this as a B. Gets a 6 mana 6-6 six, six that deals some incidental damage to opponents. I can see that being strong. Not sure what to cut right now. Probably a Rufian. Not big on the Rufians. Definitely have some top end, so this is going to be a 17 land deck as it is. Curse of the Shaken Fate. It, um, it ma makes that people can double spell. So double spelling means your opponent takes two. I think if this deals four or six damage over the turn, yeah, I think that that's a bad card. So question is, abandon the post. Is that something that I want in red? I don't think so. But that means that we'll probably hate picking something here. I think witch is the best card here. Followed by courage. Well, hate pick the witch. Another witch I can hate pick. So I think I'm, I'm going to do that. I think it's a bit late to start hate picking white. White seems pretty open, but 
which is just a very solid card. So, uh, happy to hate another one. And nothing here that I uh, that I like. <laughs> removal light. Well, uh, mate, I'm not sure, but oh yes, ambush your wheeling is solid. My deck blows. Well, that's good for you, peeps. Ooh, I have I have quite the picks here. Um, I like ambusher best. We'll take ambusher over interloper and perforator. Question is, what do I want to cut? Ooh, wow, another ambusher. I'm cutting the vandal for sure because otherwise my three drop slot gets crowded quite a bit, and I think I'll get rid of the ruffian then as well. Yeah, this seems to be my 23. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty aggressive. It has top end. Ooh, do I want to add one of these to the deck? I think I do. Maybe I'll cut a Harrier, play the Perforator. Stinger, Perforator, and the other one is the Outlaw. I think they're all very similar. I think I'll pick the outlaw here. Get a perforator. That's a 2 1 ground creature. It's not ideal. But I can try to go the, the full. to live the full vampire life, let's say. I kind of like going the full vampire life. Question is, what do I cut here? I need to make one cut. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six two drops right now. Double ambusher, double outlaw, double neonates rush. Oh man, I kind of like everything here. You can see cutting a rush. I mean, rush works nicely with the channelers, but so do a cursed empire. I think I want the vampires for ambusher and outlaw. Yeah, let's cut one rush and play it like this. It seems these. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Okay, Semblin gets to go first. This is a, a great hand. I'll start off with the Perforator and then into the Ambusher. Seems good. Ooh, that's also a decent card. Sacrifice it. Search the library for an artifact card with mana ability or basic land. Mm, okay. Don't think I start out with the socialites. I think I'll start out with the perforator, and then go from there. My hands look, my hand looks very solid. Let's, um, start off by attacking first. Okay, that's just three damage straight to the face. I think I'll run out the socialite here. That seems strong. Put a 1 1 counter on the perforator and make it a 3 2. Yeah, let's go. Next turn, we can go foragers into ambusher if we can deal damage, and I think the game is over then. Yeah, I think the game is over if we can go uh, foragers into. Um... Ooh, let's see. 4-4. Four, four. Uh. Couple of things I can do here. I can do Grasp Harrier. I can also 
just attack with the Falcon Red Perforator, honestly. See if opponent wants to block. I think that there's no harm in just grasping Harrier. I kind of like that. Deal 5 more damage, play out the Harrier. I mean, if opponent only plays one blocker, um, I can use the activated ability and just deal 7, right? Put opponent down to 4. Uh, so yeah, th that's exactly this scenario, I think. I have two vampires, so this deals three. I think I'll just do what I said and just put opponent down to four. Sorry, three even. Seems like a very strong play. Yeah, my opponent is sort of forced to either play out more blockers here or... Yeah, Semelin. Interesting. Um, what are we doing here? Some some green top end that is pretty strong. Uh, Moon Silver Key, helping them to at least get to to four mana, right? By being a two drop and then uh, three colors is also pretty rough. Yeah, not not sure really um, what we're looking at, which makes it pretty hard to sideboard as well. I really liked the Harrier. I can see boarding in a Harrier over something else here. Maybe over the Stinger. Harrier over Stinger is fine, actually. Or Harrier over Perforator. I'm, I'm a sucker for Tribal. So if you give me a card that says Vampires, I love to play that. Neonate's Rush wasn't great this game, but I think it's nice in the deck. <laughs> this is rough. I really liked how the Harrier performed. Pushed so much damage there. I'm going to be on the draw, so I can go down a land and bring in the other Harrier. Quite a low curve, right? I can do something like this, go to 16. Play a bit of a lower curve, like I can get the Collector out. Maybe play another Rush. So now my, my curve is a little lower. Yeah, let's do it like this. I like it. Little lower curve, 16 lands. And a great opener again. Uh, Stinger on one, Strangler on two seems strong. Everybody grab a leg. Is that that someone's thing? Okay. Yeah, let's not attack with a one one. 
No three toughness, no three toughness, no three toughness. Aye. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, what does this say? Plus two pins O. Oh. So that's a three one. This is a two one. Nothing attacks well here, which is unfortunate. Nothing attacks well here. I think I'll just run out my 3 3 with Bart. And uh, say no attacks for now. I mean, I definitely have more gas with uh, Burn Your Cursed and Dreadhound. Also a reason for me now to make it night, to make this a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so that's a Coven Trigger. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. I don't mind attacking with a trespasser, honestly. Oh, it's not very useful, right? Not very useful. So is it then Harrier Pass? Or do I not even play out the Harrier? Man, that 1 4 is, um, is annoying, eh? I think it's Harrier that allows me to get in for an attack next turn. And maybe get back the initiative here. If I draw a land, I can also start burning the accursed. Yeah, so semblance, same thing. Probably getting in with the 3 2. I don't have blocks. And that's a 4 4. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. I think I'll make it night and then use this at instant speed next turn. Yeah, let's do that. So make it night and then maybe I want to kill this. Kill the coven trigger. So now it's a 4-4 four, four with Wart, which is pretty nice. Let that resolve. If they put a counter on the Witch, I'm probably killing the Witch here. Yeah, so this looks like a reason to kill the Witch to me. Let's see what they do. If they go to combat, sure. This is going to be a, a big attack here. Nope, it's not. So, kill the flyer. Yeah, my attacks are a bit awkward. I can see I can see attacking with the strangler here. Cuz I kind of want it to be an enchantment at this point in time. I think I'll put it on the 5-5. Five five. I think I want to get rid of that. I think the the Wardens is less important right now. I want to get rid of the big creature. I think I'll play this out. Just get the Vampire on the board. So now someone gets to choose. 
Oh, it's your upkeep. Okay, so I'm taking five from that then. Okay. I wasn't completely aware that that was how it worked. Ooh, double wardens is strong. That's uh, quite a bit of damage. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what I can do here. Um. Do this, and then I would take 7 plus 5 is 12. I would go down to 2. It's not ideal. Not ideal, but I think it's the thing to do here. Now at my upkeep, opponent needs to sack a non-land permanence. Ooh. Okay. Might be pretty dead here. Not yet, though. Not yet. This is a zero three defender. Uh, which blocks the bird admirer pretty nicely. We're also back to day here. I kind of missed that, honestly. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Not ideal. Not ideal. I think I need to run out the ambusher naked here. Which is unfortunate. Not a lot, of, not a lot I can do about that. Not a lot I can do about that. Let's uh, make sure we get a land out of our deck. It doesn't really matter what we get. Okay, Moon Silver Key, not great. Although Semelin is on four lands and missing one of the three colors, so it's quite a nice pickup for them, I think. I think I'm going to keep lands in hand for, for things like Pyre. And also for the 4 tree, is that still my deck? No, that's that, right? Yeah, it's that. Okay, that's a very decent pickup. I think it's time for me to uh, to start hitting them. Ah, but at the same time... It's going to be night. That is awkward. It's becoming night. So they will have three attackers. So I can't attack, basically. I have to make it night here. Okay. Interesting. This is very interesting. This has trample. Probably. Wait, it's night, right? So I can kill one. I think I'll killed um, the cavalier then wow that was a solid turn for me I think I'll have to attack for 6 here Oh wait, no, because opponent can just 
Oh no, it needs Covent for that. Okay, that's that's good to note. The opponent needs Covent to get rid of my blocker. So as long as the opponent's board is small, I'm not in much danger. What does this do? It's a day bound nine bound card. I can attack for six here. Trade my creature for the four four. Don't think that's good though. So I'll, I'll just run out the the brigand. Enters in its nighttime form. And I don't think I attack here. Opponent passing here does not make it day, so that stays a four or five. I think I'll attack with just a eviscerate. I can attack with both, right? Let's say, let's see if I attack with both. Yeah, I think I attack with both. My opponent has a removal spell. So I think I'll play out the land and attack with both. Yeah, I think that's the play. Yeah, so opponent goes block, block. Double trigger and turn. <sighs> I don't think I can lose this game. Well, uh, I can obviously lose this game. They can just deal two to the face, but it seems like they're making music. GG, Samlin. Got him. Got M. Boom. It's not every day that you play somebody from the MPL. So, Kvartek. Ooh, that's a good opener. Do -do -do. Yes, please. I would like to keep that. But I'm afraid I don't get to do the nice thing. Like, if I would have been on the play, this hand would have been much, 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 much better. But now I'm not, so now it's a little bit awkward, but maybe they still attack with the interloper and I get my... Nah. Fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll do the trespasser thing. Um, I could exile my own creature. I don't think there are many reasons for me to have a creature in the grave. But I'll uh, I'll start off by exiling their graveyard, and then maybe I'll move to my own graveyard next. Okay. Uh, this is pretty nice because I can attack now. Make that switch of life and now the arrogant outlaws are activated so I can either play the brigand or the outlaws that's a toughie but I think I'll go for the brigand because I think it's pretty likely that I get to connect next turn anyway so I think the arrogance will still be good Was a was definitely a decision point there, and I decided to go this route. Yeah, interlopers basically always attack. Um, they can't block, so they just get in. Third party captain is nice, gains them a life, draws them a card. Yeah, so f so far looking good for Kavartek. Although he is running out of cards a little. Send in the team. 
And opponent taking six here. This is interesting. Play the outlaw to do the plus two minus two, which is very good since we're clearly racing. Kvartek is clearly trying to race me here. And I'll uh, run out the two drop. So getting in with the double interloper for sure. Trapper is probably going to tap down something here. Okay, so no attacks on the ground. Okay. I think I'm attacking with... One. I think I'm attacking with most of it here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They're dealing ten currently. So this is 8 damage. This has an activated ability, but that's only on the back side. They block like this. Uh, pum, 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 pum. That is strong, that is definitely strong. I could kill the captain here. I mean, the captain makes them draw. Could be worth two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then they deal ten on attacks. They take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it might be a good idea. I have one vampire right now, so this deals two. Get to draw a card off of it. Not sure how strong that is though. Yeah, the question is do I want to accurse this question? I think I do. I don't like them drawing that card. They can deal nine here. It's it's getting close. That uh, veteran gained them quite some life. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they have. I think I think I played that wrong there. I think my best draw is a land here. I think my best draw is a land. But I'm not even sure that would help me. So I'm going, yeah, I don't think a land would even help me here. So opponent has three blockers. So tapping one down, clearly.
So, Brock, yeah, Kvartek doing the smart thing here. Let's see, can we salvage this? I don't think we can. If this went face, this would be game, but it doesn't go face. Think I'm out of luck. Right, so I have two blockers, two ground blockers, that is. So I kill a flyer. Then. I think I survive here. Kill the Griff. Could survive here. Trapper can tap down one, right? So it's four in the air, two over the two on the ground. Trapper taps down one, so there's no lethal on board here. I could win this game. I could definitely win this game. It all depends on the two cards in hand basically, like it's open on my side of the battlefield, like this is it. Um, yeah, so definitely declaring the block here. Down to one. Okay, yeah, sure, nice. We got there on one these okay that was a nice uh nice race we got there uh the deal one damage oh what's happening here oh lol um wait what happened Bartek? let's give them a, a call See if they are... Oh, what the heck was that? Hey, mate. Um, I think... Th did you do the, the correct challenge? I, I didn't check. Uh, I'm, I must have messed up somewhere. Yeah, um... doesn't matter. What we could do is just sideboard now, right? And then um, play the next game sideboarded. Do you want to... Um... Yeah, or I can I can just we can just load up and I'll just concede to you. Oh sure, game. sure. Do that. That's also fine. Oh, cool. Are you sending the that. challenge? Yeah, let me make sure let me make sure it's the right one. Yeah, no worries. It's uh, it's an honor playing you, by the way. Oh thanks. That game was close. Oh okay. man, I, I thought you had it, but of course it was it was all in the two cards that you had in hand and I I I, I wasn't it was a gamble for me to go for it. I liked I liked the play. It was like, oh, it was oh boy. Yeah, one life is not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was close. Right, yes. Yeah. I spent the challenge. It does say best of three. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, okay, I think so I think the back the the big um the big thing the big gamble that I made was dealing the five to the two two because I wanted to prevent the card draw. Maybe that was stupid. I'm not sure. I was, I was thinking about that. I wasn't sure if you were supposed to hit a flyer. And I'll just concede this one. Um, at the time, I was kind of scratching my head, but I think it ended up working out pretty well because I ended up just... Oh, it just doesn't... I yeah. definitely chose best of three. I'll challenge you not through the friends list, just through the other way. Sure, sure. I'll, I'll then, then I'll have to do that as well. I'll do that. Gotcha. Because um, I drew two five drops afterwards, so if you didn't kill it, then I would have went like... One mana two two draw a card into five drop, and then I think I probably would have won. Mm -hmm. So it definitely ended up winning the game. Yeah, yeah, it was a gamble because not only was it a a, a body that you could replay, uh, so it it would gain you it would gain you a life basically, give you another blocker and draw you a card. And for me, that was mm -hmm. a bit too much. I felt like, but uh, it was definitely a sketchy decision. <laughs> Okay, this seems to work. Yeah, this worked. Okay, cool, cool. Well, well. All right then. Cool. Well, good luck. Yeah, you too, mate. See ya. See ya. So, I'm going to be on the draw here. So I'm 
bring in another Harrier. And also, again, the, the Rush. And I'll be getting out a Swamp, going down to 16 lands and making my curve a little lower. Rush seems to be a perfect card against them. So yeah, I think I think I like it this way. Let's play. Ah, uh, Ooh, um, not the best hand, but I can play this. Not the best hand, but there's a good chance I draw a two drop. Uh, that's not a two drop. That is. Playable, I'll run it out and then next turn I might be able to trigger my outlaw or my ambusher. Kind of depends. That is not a great creature against my 1 1 first striker. Although it only has first strike on attack, so. It's interesting. Okay. Firing off the full play there seems aggro. But I get it. I definitely get it. Let's run out of Trespasser. Do the fall play for now. Leave the creature in my own graveyard so that if, if it attacks I can uh, I can gain the one. That way trigger it. So I'm going to offer the trade here for sure. I'm also Getting rid of that one. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is broken. Broken in half actually. Dealing the two to the bat whisper here. That might be game, honestly. <laughs> that might be game just right there. <laughs> That forger into ambusher line, that is a sick one. Yeah, I'm I'm happy making the trade here. Sure. Double search party captain would be sick. Oh that's so very good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I'll Oh man. Uh so I could just kill the outlaw. Get in for a ton. I could also make the trade. Then play out another outlaw. But I think just grasping. Just grasping here is very good. Dealing a 7, down to 10. I'm down to 11, but Kvartek hardly has a board here. Um, I think my best draw would be a land. Really want to get to 5 here for uh, my two 5 drops. Kvartek really wants to play a card here. Can't bring it to knights. 3 4 is good. 3 4 is solid. Uh, I'm thinking of just firing this off on the griff and attacking for 7 again. Good. Assume this is a double block. Yeah, sure. Boom, opponent down to 3, no board. I got a 4-3 in play. So opponent needs a big body here. Flash taker, interloper. Time for me to just jam. Might be sacking the interloper here to trade. Yeah, make this a 2 for 1.
Yeah, so again, lethal on board. Opponent has a draw with the clue, leaving them with four mana. Two cards in hand, four mana. I'm getting the good game here. I assume that means we're 2 0. G Jeez, vampires. Zach already prepared. So, mono blue. Interesting. Aye, aye, aye. That's not a hand I can keep. Um, that's a hand I can keep. Well, I think I'm putting down a mountain here. I'm on the draw, so pretty likely to find my third and fourth lands before turn four. It's not a lands, but at least I get a stinger. Getting in for one would be nice. Ooh, mono green. Did, did we did we keep another sketcher here? Would be nice to find a land now. I found a five drop and a six drop, so three draws to find a third land should be uh, reasonable. I feel. Come on, oh, that's just unfortunate. That's just unfortunate. But um, at least I uh, leave up the grasp. So whatever creature they play now. I grasp, but uh, yeah, would have been nice if I could, uh, yeah, deploy a forager's next turn. But I have a lot of gas in hand. As long as I draw lands, I think I uh, should be able to win this game. Get rid of it. Uh, should probably get another black. I mean, I know for a fact that I'm going to need double black at some point in time. I think I'll just uh, double attack here, threaten the, the the buff ability. Seems good. Wait, 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 wait. They can have the... Yeah, I'm playing into the, the Nebelgast intruder that they have in their deck. Pretty hard here. Well, that's not really a punish. That's just a 2-1. So they block there and they take one from the stinger. That's awesome. Then I kill their creeper with my ambusher. Yep. That is a solid little line there for me. That uh, couldn't have gone much better. Okay, so what does this do? It has Disturb as well, so it's a 3-2 with Disturb. Okay, um, I think I'll just all attack again. Let's see if they want to give me their Archivist for my Stinger. They have a lot of value, so I, I think it would be good for me. Okay, they do that. Yep, they do that. Um, no reason for me to run out the foragers here just yet, so I'll run out the brigands. So opponent on 7 mana, which is quite a lot. Uh, so much flashback value, but uh, only 11 life, so... Not sure, I think one of my creatures is getting... Wait, what? Okay. Well, we're definitely going down a land here. Because I'll be on the draw again. And expect to just keep a three land opener or something. Not sure if I should maybe play a Rufian over the Dreadhound or something like that. Play our Neonates Rush.
quite some two ones, right? I mean, the adversary is a two one. The question is, do I want the, another Neonate Rush over the Blood Tide Collector, for example? I think discarding for them is not that bad. I think Neonate Rush or Ruffian are not bad includes. Let's take the Neonates Rush. How many creatures do I have? 17 still? Yeah, let's go. Neonates Rush, being able to kill two ones seems pretty strong. Zach Dubin. Yep, that's a keep. That's a keep. Starting off with the Evolving Wilds, getting another Red Land out of the deck. Then going from there. It would be nice if we can stop drawing lands now. Five is enough, I think, for this deck. Um, now it doesn't really matter. Let's go red lands. I'll go for that over the stra over the channeler. I think that's my best too, basically. Opponent already 4 mana available, which is quite a lot. Discarding a flashback card here, I assume. So the value train starts leaving the station. Okay. Definitely getting in with this 2 1. So Chandler or Harrier. I think I'm going to block the 3-2 actually. So I'm going to play out the Harrier because I'd rather leave the ha lose the Harrier than the Channeler right now. Maybe Channeler was the right play because of Burn Your Cursed. Makes it day. Okay. Oh, Zach is uh, racing me here. Since that cannot block, I should just uh, get in with it. It's awkward though. I mean, the, the green-blue spell, adding another counter, plus tapping down my Brygon seems pretty strong here. Can't do, can't do a lot about that. It's just how it is. That's just the way it is, the Gadoon. Down to 9, pretty unfortunate. And they can also run out the Geist here, which is a 2-2 two -two flyer. So, definitely seems to be a little racing situation here. Um, let's see. I'm staying back with my with my Harrier here. Oh, this is tough. This is an instant speed spell. It's unfortunate that I don't have any um I can make it night. I think night is good for me. I think I'll leave the two two back to block the three two. I kind of need to reveal my life total a little bit here. The problem with Chandler is, is that Neonate's Rush doesn't do a lot here. Oh, but it flips it into a 3-3, right? Yeah, so that's good. So, what I think happens is if I block with a 2-2 then Neonate's Rush I think this becomes a 3-3 so it can for example block the Creeper which I think is pretty strong um, not sure though if if opponent decides to not attack with the Creeper it's a little bit awkward So this is a little bit awkward, but I'll block here. Let's 
So opponent has six mana available. Zaggy Dubin. I think I'll Neonate's Rush here. Just to draw cards. That makes sense. I just want to draw a card basically is the thing. Like I deal one to face, I draw a card, my channeler flips. Which is a good thing. The problem is I'm down to four. I think I should attack with two creatures here. I think attacking with just one is pretty bad. So attack with two. Yeah, there's so many ways I lose this game here. So now the question is, what do I do? So many ways I die here. So many ways I die here. Question is, do I play out the Harrier? Like if I do Harrier, I have Rush. Yeah, let's end the turn here. Let's hope they have a fight spell or something, but I know it isn't true. So I'm just dead now, right? There's nothing I can do about this. Just dead on the crackback. Yep. That's unfortunate. The opponent just had a really great start and I didn't really. Uh Neonate Rush, not that great this time around. I uh, could just go up to 17 lands again. Running this seems good. Don't think I want the collector then. Over anything. Like discarding for them is just not, not that much of a problem thing. Yeah, so Neonate Rush out, land in. Start the game on the play. Ooh, let's go. It's unfortunate. That's a keep. It's aggressive. Stinger into perfor perforator. That is... That is a great start. Like, if I can follow that up with a 3 and a 4 drop. I don't think I need much more. We both went down to 6, so that is good. Nice, 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 nice. Get in for one. Play the perforator. So no more lands, but uh, spells to cast would be awesome. Three drops, four drops, let's go. Uh, I think I'll mount an all attack here. Activate the ability. Deal three and trade there. Seems good. Okay. Okay. Now I need. Now I just need a good three or four. If I draw a good three or four, something that that benefits from the fact that my stinger is going to hit. Yeah. Then we're doing it. Ay 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, we can still win, but it's going to be tough. Opponent making it night here. It's not a bad thing for me. Ayo, oh, come on. Discard up to two cards and draw that many cards.
I've failed here. Oh man, I'm so bad. So bad, I'm so bad, I'm so bad, I'm so bad. Oh no, that, that was all fine, all fine and good. Uh, I think... I just run out the outlaw? Not sure why they didn't block. I think they shouldn't have phased it out, but just blocked it, right? Okay, that was a good turn for opponents. Oh, man. It's, it's bugged, probably. Right there. Play the foragers. Get rid of the mountain. Rock cards. That's something. It's not much, but it's something. Opponent on 11 and far, far ahead in the card advantage game. I did manage to get three, four lands in my bin already, though, so... Ay ay ay. Whenever it attacks, draw a card, discard a card. Ay ay ay. All these two ones. All these two ones. I think my Stinger attacks here. Not sure about my Forager. I think my forager stays behind. Nice. Well, at least I get two creatures. I think I want to get these two. It's between Haunt and Hermit. I think I kind of like doing it this way. This is a flying 2-1 though, and this is a 2-1. This also has Disturb. Should probably just do it like this. It's unfortunate though, because... I think it will be really hard to play my Burn the Accursed anytime soon. So I think I have to kill this. And then do it like this. Yeah. Two for one is not bad. Like a two for one is pretty good actually. Two for one is pretty good. Just so much card advantage. So much card advantage. Zach is also able to discard like any land that he draws. So every draw he has is basically a spell as well. Oh man. Oi oi oi. Um that's an unfortunate draw. I think I'll get in with both. I think I'll get in with both. And if opponent double blocks the forager, I might burn the accursed. To uh, to save my foragers. Yeah, so that's a that's a two for one. Nice. Uh, sure, doesn't really matter. Kill one. Deal two to the face. Exile that. Did I exile the correct one? Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. Yeah, so I leave the swamp in hand. The forager says pay three. Aye, 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 so we're drawing, discarding again. So much value. What is in the bin here? So we have a 2-2. Two, two. We have Path of the Festivals. And now we have a Corpse Gobble as well. Ooh, Corpse Gobble is sick. Is that an instant speed spell? It is an instant. I 
think I'll attack. Offer the two for one. The two for one is good for me here. And then I'll discard another land. One, two, three, four, five. I'll have six lands in my bin. Six lands in the bin, six on the board. Left with five lands in the deck. Oh, and I get to deal the damage here. Um, in that case, I think I'll do that in their end step. Yeah, so what they can do now is they can attack me for 10 and then make a 4-4. Four, four. That is so strong. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing here. So now after damage they can play their corpse thingy. So what does this do again? Yeah, I think, I think we're out. I think it's time for me to go to bed. X is a total power. Yeah, that's sick. It's, uh, it's going to be a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four mana seems good. I think there's a way out for me here. Maybe I'll find one. Let's see. I mean, I have two draws. I have to draw from the foragers plus my own draw, so... I guess a removal spell, neonate rush or something would be good. Basically that's it. Removal spell, Neonates Rush. And um, I did it. Yeah, Removal spell, Neonates Rush. It's not a removal spell. Think I'm that? Oh, another land? It's so savage. <laughs> oh man. Flooding so hard. Come on, come on, deck. It's freaking insane. No need to do this. Completely flooded away. Spent so much mana on discarding stuff. That's unbelievable. But uh, yeah, I'm dead here. Three flyers. So uh, it's basically an all attack here. And okay, I'm off to bed. Thanks for uh, everyone who've uh, who's been watching. It was a pleasure.